please let me introduce to you the new LTE portable radio of Zero. I just said I don't need any lightning on this booth because it's so bright over here. Yeah. This is the Itera booth, as you can see, and it's a, it's a huge, it's a huge booth. It is, it's actually massive. Okay. Okay. Any applica any applications on the LTE conversions radio? Yes, you can see some of the applications. There are some applications yeah. over there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can we take a look at yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's, let's talk about applications because yeah, the yeah. buzzword at this show is applications, okay. I noticed. Okay. So everybody's talking about applications at the GS IGS. Put me in the stomach. So let's talk about applications. We are actually a software company, so we do a lot of uh, application for the law enforcement and the emergency services. Okay. In particular, we had a very good relationship with uh, ITERA, yes. and we have developed the first application which are running both on Tetra and on LT. So the, the most advanced solution, is, uh, most interesting solution is actually that all our application can run both on Tetra mm -hmm. and uh, on LT, all but one which is the video streaming. Of course, Tether is not supporting, but uh, all the other applications, which are real-time alarm, access to database in real time, or the ability, just to give you an example, as you will see over here, if I'm taking the, if I'm taking the gun out of the holster, even with Tether, what I'm doing is like, taking the gun out, you'll see, I will start the video streaming live to the So if you will see over there, there's a direct video streaming of the gun in the country just by taking the gun out. If I put the gun back, end of the issue, gun is already back in. So this is just the latest solution. But all the things that we can do, uh, just to give you another example, uh, if the police officer is in danger, you can just press an alarm button, five seconds, and we start a video audio streaming to the control room. So again, it gets red, there's an alarm. Okay. And it's actually video streaming live to the control room. And can the officer forward here the footage of his body cam to other police officers? Of course he can. He can send message in real time. But uh, another important thing is that the, imagine the chief in charge. He can be on the ground as well. He might have a tablet or he might have his uh, portable PC. He can actually access all the video feed and also start the body cam from his mobile. Right now, 4G can only support low, uh, uh, low quality video streaming. Uh, and not only can support low quality and also limited amount of video feed stream in the same time. This has already been surpassed by the 5G ability. We are in the Vodafone project for 5G. We are the, the law enforcement partner for Vodafone. And what we're doing right now, we're using the 5G in order to be able to create a bubble of connectivity and to stream live from one side to the other. Okay. To all the we open. just have to wait for 5G. Correct. Just a matter of time before that becomes available. Get off the record. There's this another thing we can do with 5G. What is it? There's another thing which is actually, imagine the police officer is just walking, uh, walking around with the body cam active and he's streaming. At the same time, being able to stream in a high definition, the, I can do some video analytics in the background. So imagine there's a bad guy just having a coffee. The police officer doesn't even notice that. He's just passing by and the video analytics is working and recognize the guy. He has a smartwatch and the smartwatch vibrates and says like, uh, well, check your message in because you just checked for a bad person, a criminal. So the guy will just uh, switch on again the mobile and get the footage of the moment in which he was, uh, he was seeing the guy with the face, the geolocation and the time. So you can just go back to the coffee shop 
and say like, sorry, can you come with me for a second? And that's it. How much time do you think that will take before that becomes available? It is. For, for, it is already available? It is. It's an infrastructure problem. It is an infrastructure problem. Again, waiting for 5G to happen. I can't wait for 5G coming up. But if you're a good person, yes. If you're a bad person, it's going to be a bad time for you to live in. <laughs> Thank that you. is definitely true. If you're a good person, don't fear 5G. If you're a bad person, you can fear 5G because 5G makes IoT possible. IoT for public safety, IoT for mission critical communications. Just got a new job at Hytera. Oh yes, I did. I was a marketing manager, and now uh, now a team leader for digital marketing. So that means that you have a team. Yes, of course. That's, 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 nice that's, that's a nice, that's a nice graph, that's a nice graph. <laughs> well, I'm having this interview with Frank Prower, he's CSO, Chief Sales Officer of Hytera Mobile Funk, right? Frank, um, we're talking about speed, or we're talking about apps here. Um, there is one thing that Hytera is very good at, and that's the speed of development. Mm -hmm. So, where a lot of companies are hiring or acquiring other companies mm -hmm. to have app developers, for example, mm -hmm. you do it different, is it? Um, yeah, it's a combination uh, strategy we are running. So, um, first of all, speed becomes extremely essential nowadays, much more essential than in the past, especially in the PMI industry, because the PMI industry in the past was a lot about just the pure infrastructure aspect of a mission-critical solution, whereby nowadays we talk more about a true segment-specific application that the customer wants to run. But an application in that matter, in mission-critical, involves everything. So it's the infrastructure, it's the converged networking through different standardized networks, and it's actually the censoring on-site at the, let's say, police officer in a mission-critical situation, combined in a command and control, which nowadays is not just monitoring a network where the base station is up and down, it's actually more turning into a big data application to make sure all this data collected through the application at the customer side is filtered and used in an appropriate way to react in mission critical situations at the right time okay. as fast as possible. And um, the way we basically, uh, um, we basically approach that market is by on one side acquiring very innovative companies, like we bought, as you know, Sephora, Teltronic, 3T, Norsat and Sinclair to broaden our portfolio. But at the same time, we have a huge engineering force, R&D hardware and software engineers in our headquarter in Shenzhen and in our 10 R&D centers worldwide that are developing these apps in a very fast space. Constant innovation is not done on a nice PowerPoint. It's done by a vast and broad uh, resource in R&D that you can hire quickly, easily, in the right amount of people that you need for the different developments. Okay. And that's a big advantage of being a Chinese-based company because you have a lot of highly skilled R&D engineers available in China that are developing um, uh, these solutions. Hey. It's the Integrated Command and Control Center. Yeah. There, everything comes together. Exactly. So that's exactly. actually more important. Exactly. Exactly. I think I, uh, I would like just to summarize. Uh, there are four uh, aspects quite important in the converts concept. One, of course, is the infrastructure in terms of uh, uh, a single uh, experience in the infrastructure with all the radio technologies. For example, in this case, Tetra plus LTE. Then we have another, uh, another um, aspect of convergence is in terms of applications. So we have, uh, for example, the push to talk or uh, a, a mission critical push to talk on or other uh, uh, mission critical services in LTE. This is the application layer. Then we have, of course, the terminals, multi-mode terminals. That's another part of converge. And the fourth uh, aspect, quite important to close the circle, is the command and control, integrated command and control that are on the top of everything, connecting uh, all the services and, and helping the, the, the users to manage all the operations in public safety and in, in other 
in other sectors also. Okay. The solution for transportation consists fundamentally in the infra communication infrastructure. This is an example here. So yes. This is a tetra infrastructure for transportation with all the railway certificates available. For a very demanding environment, this is a special uh, environment that requiring special uh, normatives to be complied with. Then uh, it also requires uh, special uh, terminals mm -hmm. uh, to be on board. Also, we need uh, uh, command and control to the op train operations with uh, special requirements also. And uh, finally, if absolutely required to have the, all these elements completely well integrated. But is there a sector where convergence is more applicable to, like say for public safety, or is it every sector? I think it's every sector. Yes. But uh, in each one, each, each one has a, a specific uh, uh, requirements in terms of convergence. Yes. Converges. So, for example, in the case of in the case of transportation. The uh, narrow band, of course, is used today for voice and for uh, critical data, you could say, short data, because it's narrow band technologies. And then the broadband is, is required for other specific uh, transport applications. For example, data is required for a signaling solution, signaling applications, which is, uh, uh, for example, for metro, we are talking about CBTC. This mm -hmm. is a special application for metro uh, signaling or ETCS, so we'll also they are requiring vital data, they call it. Another application is, uh, is a, um, a passenger information system. They require to exchange inform data from train to ground for update and for changing, uh, exchange information with the passengers. And a third and very important also is the video, the, the video like in public safety. This is another driver. It's quite important for the safety, the transportation. It's, is in fact a, a mission critical service because they are transporting yeah, people exactly. and then the safety is quite important and then the, the video is, a, is also a driver is a demand is demanded like in public safety to have a, um, a real-time remote uh, info, uh, control on the what is happening in the, in, on the field in the train Portable radio of Hytera. This is the LTE device. This is a very small LTE device. No convergence. Push the top over LTE. It's one of the new products that is coming along. It says proof of concept. I just found it at the Hytera booth. That's good. <laughs>